extraordinary whiskey it's an extraordinary island and we're going to give you an extraordinary experience over the next two and a half days or so it has to be straight pulling out a sample just making sure it doesn't smell like damp newspapers or vinegar oh yes there's no bad smell you can use that bag <laughs> <laughs> Steve here has just done a fantastic bit of survival training. This is the last few things we're doing before we actually head into the hills. I feel inadequate, yeah. to be honest, yeah. I'm a writer and I'm useless at anything practical. We are learning how to make fire. Being an old sea girl scout, this is old news for me. <laughs> did that sound as if you, did I say it so you believe me? That was genuine, yeah. This is the stiffest climb of the whole challenge, basically. It happens right at the start. I think this is the sweatiest I've ever been. It was a relief when we got to the summit. I've lived here for 35 years now. I'm used to walking on island, lots of places, but I, I don't carry 12 kilo packs. I usually carry a sandwich in my pocket. <laughs> it's always hugely entertaining watching people put up a tent, a big one, when they've never done it before. What am I doing? Hey, very cool, what are you having? Yeah. I mean, this is what we're here for. This Sweeping tundra, just majestic, isn't it? <laughs> Massive thanks to everyone who cooked last night. Yay! Yeah, that stew was unbelievable. And I think a particular uh, thanks to Ben. He was the sort of, he was the Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you know? You'll be delighted to hear the next challenge is kind of that way, I think. Oh, that's another Duncan, did you get that one? <laughs> I fell a few times. You'll be walking one bit and it'll be rocky and then all of a sudden it'll just plunge. This is your first team challenge. You need to make a flag. You've got to get your flag as high as possible. Pull it. Just keep working so that the highest flag wins. You get a bit more tape. Tape. That's my job. Come on. Come on. Up it goes. Yay! Two, one, and let go of the pole. That is awesome. A narrow victory for Team Steve. I could tell it was starting to get a bit tense at this end when Ben and Michael started shouting at each other in German. <laughs> team Steve, winning team all the time. I think it's a bit of a mixture, really. Japanese technology, Canadian determination 
local Scottish knowledge. I don't know what I brought to the party, but I, I was pretty handy with the rolling tape. When it came to the peat coat, it was like running a knife down a particularly delicious looking uh, chocolate gato. I think I want to come back here with the old man. This is heaven, man. This is great. Each team, build a raft, you get everything you need there. Get one brave volunteer to go on the raft, paddle it across. The guys are building a raft and it's transporting a little bit of the peat that was cut earlier so we can use it for a fire tonight. It's actually pretty warm. Ready to go. It's the last day. All the guys are busy with packing down their stuff. Do you like my, my approach? It's just mash. I'm getting the hang of this another three days and I'll be an expert. Yeah. Journey's in. The guys are just getting ready to go and row in the skiffs. Rowing is a huge part of island life, huge part of the tradition and culture here. It is highly competitive and extremely significant. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> local custom masters. The guys have done phenomenally well. Every single one of them has been an adventurer. 